Hey tires, Darren here back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up my bleeding schlop and leech. This is a nice still water pattern for fairly shallow to medium depth lakes up to about 20 feet or so. This is pretty basic with a bit of marabou and some schloppen to kind of mask these uh, red ruby red beads. The pattern is just cast out and let sink and then you just strip it in slowly and it works pretty well with rainbow trout and I've also done well with bass with this pattern. Let's have a look at the material list and get started tying up the bleeding schlop and leech. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a 4XL. I've pinched the barb down on this and loaded it with five seed beads. I think these are the 11 aught size. Can't remember exactly. Um, if you have a micro barbed hook, you might be able to fit those over the barb. Otherwise, just pinch the barb and they should slide on fairly well. This one's a size 6, and probably tie this size of bead in about size 4, maybe to about 8. It's kind of a narrow range, but perfect for leeches. I'm using a 6 aught black uni thread, and we're just going to start this by tying on right over the hook point and we'll just wrap a little bit weird rear back rearward I'm going to use a piece of marabou and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these fibers out I'm just going to strip them right off the stem And we'll just trim up the back end there. And we'll tie that clump in right over the hook point. And just make sure that that's secure there. If your tail is too long, you can always pinch it and pull off the fibers. But I, I tend to Try and leave them a little bit long, and if I find I'm getting a lot of short strikes on the water, I can pinch those off. Next, I'm going to take about four or five strands of a red flashaboo. This is a pearl dyed red. That's just to match the bead color, more or less. We'll just match that with the tail. Wrap it on the along the close side. Then we're just going to pull those over. We're going to lash them to the far side. Pull those and trim them. Next, I'm going to take a black peacock schlappen. It's a natural black schlappen feather. This one is from Superfly, but I think most companies carry them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the fibers back on this feather, create a tie-in point, tie that in. We'll fold that tip back to make sure it's secure. And then we're going to take our scissors and just run them along the stem just to help push those fibers rearward. Then we're going to pull and wrap. Just get our thread out of the way. 
just want to make sure that you pull those fibers around the hook. About four or five wraps probably. And maybe a few more. Just want to kind of come out past the tie-in point for your marabou. Just you don't want a big bump where the tie-off point is. Because we're going to push our beads into this. And right, we'll tie that off. Sometimes you can get two uh, wrap, two, uh, you can use the schlappen both on the front and the back, but I think we'll use two different schlappen feathers for this one. So I'm just going to add a whip finish. Then I'm going to put a touch of glue, or cement, right there. Get a little bit extra, that's fine. And we're just going to push the beads back and just secure them on that glue. They should stick there in a minute or two. And then we reattached the thread in front of the beads. I'm going to grab another schlappen feather. You want to find one. This is a beautiful feather. You want to find one with longer fibers so that it's, when you wrap it, it's going to totally cover that, those beads. And you just want the beads to peek out a little bit. Really love the look of this in uh, when it's sunny outside it looks just absolutely incredible all right so we created another tie-in point fold the tip back and then we'll run our scissors again along the side of the stem and we're just gonna fold that feather over as we wrap it forward And you just want to put as many wraps as you can in front of the beads. So the longer your schloppen feather is, the better. And if you find a nice pack, you can get some beautiful feathers in there like this one. All right, there we go. And we'll just tie that off few wraps, fold that back, trim off the excess, if you need to clean up the head, you can do that, and we'll just add a nice tapered head to that fly. And we'll add a couple whip finish. And there you go, the leading schlap and leech. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.